Welcome back, fifth graders. Here is our part two in dividing fractions. And let's go into the table of contents. So the materials you need, you're gonna need paper and pencil, like always. Our objective is that you're gonna be able to divide a unit fraction by a whole number. Um, so before we go into our lesson, we're gonna first just review what we did yesterday Was that was for homework. And I want you to pay attention to what we're dividing by. Um, and I'll, I'll just be more specific when we get into the problem. So for an art project, Miss Williams is dividing construction paper into fourths. How many fourths can she make from five pieces of construction paper? So the first thing I'm going to do is make five pieces of construction paper. And go ahead and do this as well if you haven't yet. Or if you already have done this, go ahead and just look at your homework. All right, so there is my five pieces of construction paper. And so I know that this is my dividend and we need to find our divisor and we can look in this little sentence here. So she's going to cut the construction paper into fourths so this is divided by one fourth and let's find out how many pieces there are. So I'm going to just kind of like, I'm gonna cut this up horizontally and vertically. So I have one, two, three, four in each of my little boxes, my little construction papers. That's how I'm gonna cut it up into fourths. If not, you can also do this for each one where we have one, two, three, four of them. But I think it's just easier to see the, see it, this easier. And then the last step we do is we're gonna count up all of the pieces that we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty pieces. So she'll have twenty pieces. She'll have twenty fourths from five construction papers. And so what I wanted you to pay attention to is what this sentence was, this number sentence. We have a whole number for our dividend, and we have a fraction for our divisor. So this next slide, it's actually telling us that it's different from yesterday. So yesterday's, as I'm just going to use the one from above, we had 5 divided by 1 fourth. That was, was what we did yesterday. We had a whole number divided by a fraction. Today's, we're going to have a fraction divided by a whole number. So this is going to be a different um, process of solving this, um, these questions, okay? So here's our first question. Tasha eats half her snack and gives the other half to her two best friends for them to share equally. What portion of the whole snack does each friend have? So I'm going to first draw the snack. And I'm going to do it like this. That's not what I want. All right, there we go. And so I'm going to cut this in half. So this is what Tasha ate. This whole half. But she gave this part to her friends. But what she did was... She gave it to her two best friends for them to share equally, meaning that we need to share this equally between two friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this half in half. And so now we have one for friend one and friend number two. So what portion of the whole snack does each friend get? Meaning in relation to, as I said, the whole, the whole snack. Um, so... Let's just say that we, so we cut this half and half. We're going to cut this half and half too to know how much, what's, what's the denominator. So this is one, two, three, four. We have four pieces and that's our denominator. And so each friend gets only one of those pieces. So the friends got one fourth. And I didn't write this down, but this is what our, this is what our number sentence was. It was, sorry, it was one half divided by two and that gave us one fourth so remember we had one half from let me get out a different color the one half is from the half 
that Tasha had left. And then it was divided by two because she has two friends that she's sharing with. And so we cut it in half. But then our answer is in relation to all of it. Meaning that we also cut this in half over here. And so then we have one, two, three, four pieces for a denominator. And each friend gets one piece. Okay, so let's go on to our next question. Let's try to just keep this practicing so we can remember it a little bit more. All right, Larry spends half of his workday teaching piano lessons. If he sees six students for the same amount of time, what fraction of his workday is spent with each student? All right, so Larry spends half of his workday teaching piano lessons. So I know that it's one half divided by six students, and that is our number sentence. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to actually do a rectangle for this one. Alright, and so I just cut it in half. I didn't say what I did, though. But I cut this in half because, remember, half of his workday is teaching piano lessons. And then, let's just say the other half, he's sleeping. He's sleeping on this side. So in this one, it's piano lessons. All right, so if you see six students, that means we're gonna cut half of that day. So we're gonna cut this up into six pieces. And so I'm gonna first cut it in half as best as I can. And then I'm gonna make two slashes in each of those fourths. And then that'll give me six pieces. And let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. So, our last question is what fraction of his workday is spent with each student? So we know that this is one student. So we know that our numerator is one for one student, but we need to find out the denominator. And our denominator is not six because this is only pertaining to half when it's the fraction of his day. So that includes this part too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna also cut this up into six like that. And so we're going to count up all the pieces in this part. I'll do that in a different color. We're going to count up all the pieces in his day, and that will tell us our denominator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this tells us that for he's, his workday, he spends a twelfth of his workday teaching piano lessons to one student. Or per student, you could say. Okay, so for this... All right, so let's go ahead and work on question number three. Carlos eats two thirds of a snack and gives the rest of his two friends for them to share equally. What portion of the whole snack does each friend get? So the first thing we're gonna do is draw our snack. And just as a reminder, this is very similar to that first question that we did. So we're gonna cut this up into thirds and remember, Carlos ate two-thirds, so here's one-third covered and two-thirds. So this was Carlos and Carlos, meaning that his friends had to split up this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and split that up, and then this friend gets that piece, and this friend gets the second piece. But we need to find out what portion of the whole snack did each friend get, meaning that what we did to this third, we're going to do to the other thirds. So we split that up, and then now we have other pieces. So remember that our numerator is how many pieces? So we're saying for each friend, that's only one friend. So that's one piece that they get, okay? And then our denominator is how many pieces we made. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces here. So each friend got a sixth of that snack that Carlos had. Awesome, so here's what you're gonna do for your homework. So Solomon has read a third of his book. He finishes the book by reading the same amount each night for five nights. What fraction of the book does he read each of the five nights? So let's read that one more time. Solomon has read a third of his book. He finishes the book by reading the same amount each night for five nights. What fraction of the book does he read each of the five nights? 
So we're going to go over this in Monday's video before we get started in the next lesson. I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Again, the objective was that you can action by a whole number and we'll continue to practice that. And we will link some resources for you guys if you want more practice with that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.